came here because there's a family that's in need and we want to help them. And we want to use this day and the sunlight hours and before rainfall to build a house and to set a family that needs to be helped straight. Today's project is about building a house for the White family. The major breadwinner in that family died in Comfort Castle in that accident in December and left behind his mother and a number of siblings and young children. They live in a very bad house, which is in very bad condition. And in collaboration with Food for the Poor, we decided that we'd build them a house. And this is what we're doing here now. Well, this partnership with Scotiabank and Food for the Poor is a wonderful partnership. It's one in which that we, we have always wanted to, to pursue and maintain. We have done a project before. The volunteers enjoy the project in St. Thomas. And I believe today that they will certainly enjoy this one. So your son used to sleep in this room? He used to stay over the house where we do now. Mm -hmm. The house at the roadside, he used to stay with one of my cousins. This is where I live for 20 years. Going from Colonel Barks to Comfort Castle right here. I'm so great and glad for Scotia to help me at this moment because I'm well in need of the help. We recognized some of the pain and suffering that was happening here and we felt that this was a good place to lend our efforts. When we spoke to Food for the Poor, uh, Food for the Poor was also looking at this area in response to that tragedy and it just seemed like a good fit of, of both of our objectives to come here and help our family out. Part of our mandate is really to establish relationships with corporate Jamaica and also to, to highlight the work of Food for the Poor. I think this is a wonderful opportunity to, to both establish that and to highlight the work of Food for the Poor. Scotia Bank and the Food of the Poor, I'm great to glad for them to help me. God has done something good for me with them. I would feel really good and blessed that she can get a house that she can live in for the rest of our time. The house that we're building is a two-bedroom house. Um, Food for the Poor has changed its design in the last um, 12 or 18 months. The floor square food is 16 by 20 with an 8 by 4 veranda. It carries two 8 by 10 bedrooms, a 16 by 10 utility area which involves a little bathroom and a little kitchenette and also a loft which, which, add, which creates added space. Moving in this new house, I have my own kitchen inside, I have a whole toilet, and I have my own bathroom and everything. I feel very pleased that, you know, what I have contributed in terms of my service to help somebody else, I see the, the happiness on their faces. And the lady here today who will be benefiting from this house, she has just been glowing all day in the overcast day that we're having here today. I really believe it's a wonderful project and God will really bless us for this one. Scotia Bank is about helping people to become better off, to improve their financial status, improve their standard of living. This is just an extension of that. We do that every day through providing banking services and products. But this is just an extension of that same mandate, helping people to become financially better off. And it's in our DNA at Scotia Bank. This is just what we do. We try to help people as much as we can, whether it's through our products or through our own physical effort.